Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I wanted to talk today about why I purchased a second EG4 12,000 XP. What are the advantages of having two versus one? We'll kind of walk around my shop, turn a bunch of things on, and we'll see the load that's on it. And you'll, you'll, you'll understand why I purchased a uh, second one and uh, why I'm looking forward to hooking up. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is the lighting in the shop. So I've got four switches there turned on, plus another one for outdoor lights. And as you can see, they're all LED lights. Have quite a few of them in here. So once again, four circuits. So if we go over to my EG4 12000 XP, let's kind of see where it's at. So looking at the display, we're already at... Uh, approximately uh, 770 watts coming out uh, of my battery bank just for those lights. Now let's do some other things here real quick. Let's just say that I'm listening to some tunes. want to fire up my uh, tube amp and my Class A amp. Get all these turned on. Those warm up. Turn on some more equipment here. All right, that's going to power up. I'll leave the TV off for now. Now we're at 9.52. And let's kick on some of the lights in the shop. So I've got five banks of lights in the shop. Hopefully you can see all those there. And then also, I'm going to turn on my lights for my bench. So we're already at... Uh, 1,950 watts. And that's part of the reason why I have such a big battery bank, um, which big to me, others might think it's small, but I've got uh, 60,000 watt hours right here, 24 batteries. Now let's say if we're going to start turning on, uh, we'll put on the stereo out here. Okay, let's see what else we could turn on. Let's get the HVAC on. We'll turn on both of these. And we're going to change this so it's on heat right now. You know what? We'll leave heat. So let's turn the heat up a little bit. Even though it's hot in here right now, we'll turn it up to, uh, to 80. We'll kick that on. Do 80 degrees on this one as well. It's going to take a few minutes for them to uh, to kick on. So let's just say it's winter time and it's still cold, and I need to plug in another heater. This one and put it on. Put it on 1500 watts. You can feel that heat. It feels great. Let's just say I needed another heater. Let's say I took this one here. Make it nice and toasty in here. 1500. There we go. And I feel some heat out of everything now. Those are on. This one's blowing out heat. And the fans just really picked up. So it's at 9,000 watts. 9,034. So, I've got stereos on, I've got all my heaters on, all the lights are on, and I'm at 9,000 watts. It's good for 12, but what happens if I have all this on, in which this one, oh yeah, starting to feel the heat out of this. I haven't turned on my drill press yet. I haven't turned on my belt sander. Haven't turned on my grinder. Haven't used a lift or turned on an air compressor. That's why. So it's a phenomenal unit. I'm glad that I purchased it. And I did get it from Signature Solar. For the average person, 
if you had this in a shop, it would run everything. But I have a lot more than the average person. Now, would a 12,000 XP run a house? Yeah, absolutely. This can run a house. If you've got the batteries to do it, absolutely. If, if your house is all electric like mine is, you might not want to. You'll probably be at, at, at max or close to it. But you could definitely do it, especially if you have natural gas for a furnace um, and for your clothes dryer and for your hot water tank and all of that. If you have gas, this will do a house. In the summertime, it would probably do a house, no problem. But it's I, I'm, I'm pushing it past where I feel comfortable pushing it. I think it's an awesome unit. That's why I got a second one. But I also wanted to have a little bit of longevity. And that's the other thing. If I'm cranking it up this high to where I can hear the fans really spinning, maybe that's not going to be the best long term. Now, I believe that these units are going to last an extremely long time because I've seen people take their 6,000 XPs and just beat the crap out of them to where they're pushing them to overload and they're constantly popping and they flip it back on and it works. I mean, they are reliable, very reliable, which is why I got the 12,000 XPs because they're based on the 6,000 XP. Um, but like I said, that's why I got two of them. I think for me, it makes sense. And then also there's the redundancy standpoint. Let's just say for some reason, and this has got, I believe, a five-year warranty on it. Let's say this fails and it just goes down. Well, if I have two of them running, I'm still up because I'm no longer getting any power from my power company. This gives me a backup. This gives me redundancy. This gives me load balancing. Having two of them, it just makes sense. And when it, if I would recommend that most people have a backup. I had one, um, one uh, subscriber that said, you know, I have my, uh, my 12,000 XP. I had a 6,000 that I upgraded. And he said, you know, I might want to sell that on Marketplace. And I kind of thought to myself, you might want to keep it. Because if you ever had a problem with your 12,000 XP, that 6,000 will get you up and going. I mean, they're both very reliable units, but if you have to have one serviced, you don't want to have downtime. So once again, I think having two of them makes sense. Now, I mentioned before that in this part of, of my shop, I'm going to put all the equipment to power my house. I'm going to probably buy another three 12,000 XPs, run them in parallel, have it completely separate from the shop, its own battery bank, and uh, I already got the batteries ordered. You guys are going to love this when I come in. But got their own battery bank, and it's going to power the house. It's going to be separate from this, and then I'm going to have a transfer switch that... Um, is a uh, essentially it's a double pull so you could switch between solar and grid but i'm going to do to where it has um neutral and my two hots will all be disconnected when i flip from one to the other and obviously i'll turn off the um the main circuit breaker for my main panel before i switch it over um but to be honest I don't trust my, uh, my power company. Uh, we have power go out pretty much monthly here. And with that being the case, um, we get surges. We get all types of issues, brownouts. And to be honest, I really don't want to be connected to my power company. I'd rather be completely disconnected. And if for some reason, some catastrophic reason, I needed a switch back to grid, I got that big old 200 amp transfer switch. I'll be able to switch back and I'll be good. But once again, with the shop, I've got these two to power the shop and this will be more than enough. And the batteries that I have here, the 24 lead times, more than enough. They've been, they've been running good except for that one issue, which was 
not really the uh, the fault of lead time. It was more um, uh, a fault on my end. But, you know, I, I'm sure they'll last a long time. But you guys are going to love the batteries that come in next. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, I'll tell you this. There'll be server rack batteries. You may have never heard of the company before, but I did a lot of research on them, and I saw uh, and I learned about them from Will uh, Prouse with his channel, and he did a teardown, and then I saw every teardown video that's on the web to see what everyone's thoughts are, all the tests on this battery, and I'm not going to spoil it. They are in shipment. I do have. A ton of them coming in. They're server rack batteries. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that much. But it will be plenty to power the house. So, uh, so that's it. So just to kind of wrap up, the reason why I got two of these is for redundancy um, to also load balance and to extend their lifetime. So once again, pick these up from Signature Solar. Got a great deal on them. Uh, highly recommend reaching out to them for your purchase. I had no problems with my purchase, and um, I've heard a lot of good things about them. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have links below for everything. Uh, as with, with most YouTubers, if you click a link and you purchase something, I will get a small commission, but uh, that's pretty much everyone that uh, hosts videos on YouTube these days. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.